Greetings, YouTube. It's been a bunch of role-playing game books recently. I apologize to anyone that isn't a role-player. But for those that are, today I'm going to talk about Warriors from the Skirmisher Game Development Group. Um, this is a book dedicated to the non-player character class Warrior and with ideas of how to customize them and make them more flexible and useful and actually fill the roles that warriors filled in the real world. Um, it's a little odd in one respect in that this book came out between 3rd edition and 3.5. So this has got some 3.5 elements and some 3.0 elements in it. Um, but any GM or player with their salt could convert this on the fly. There's absolutely no difficulty whatsoever. Um, it has some interesting ideas in here. And the most interesting idea in the entire book is what they call subtypes. Types. Now, the subtype is a particular type of warrior as opposed to more of a generic warrior. Because the NPC, as it classes it's presented, is very generic. So, for example, the subtype archer gives the. You spend your first level feet on this subtype, and it gives you. The some of the archery uh, improvements that would come from some of the archery feats, and, but but the most importantly, what it does is it allows you to substitute some of your feats. So you could substitute your heavy weapon, heavy armor proficiency, and your medium armor proficiency, and your shield proficiency to get archery feats, which makes more sense because an archer is not going to be wearing heavy or medium armor, nor are they going to be using shields. Most would never even use a buckler, because bucklers in the real world are held in your hand. A little pet peeve of mine. Now, I love this idea. I've actually been extolling this idea for ages, for years now. I've been talking about the idea of allowing fighters and warriors to switch out fighting feats at first level. Because a fighter class and the warrior have some virtual feats. Shield proficiency, heavy armor, medium armor, light armor, simple weapons, and martial weapons. Now, I think martial weapons should be just a feat. Simple weapons feat gives you access to all the simple weapons out there. Why doesn't the martial weapons feat give you access to all the martial weapons? There's even a feat in one of the Forgotten Realms books, the, a regional feat, I think it is. And if you take it, you get access to all the martial art, all the martial weapons. So if it's good enough for a regional feat, why isn't it good enough for the core rules? So in the event I ever get my button gear and have another campaign of some variety, the martial feat will give you access to all martial weapons. So essentially, you've got six virtual feats when you create a fighter or a warrior. So, why aren't you allowed to swap them out? In this particular case, I would do away with the fighter's um, bonus feat. So you just get one feat like every first level character does. But you'd be able to take these six feats and swap them out for any other feat that is an eligible fighter feat. If you want to play a staff user who's really good at that, get rid of your heavy armor, your medium armor, or your shields, pick up two weapon fighting, Two upping defense and weapon finesse. Bingo! Your first level character ready to go, and you still got one feat left from your first level character to customize a little more. And since you're a fighter, you're still getting another feat and second level when it, and you know what, so on and so on. I think this is an idea that should be used. But every time I've ever brought it up. Everyone freaks out and says, no, 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 those feats aren't actual feats. They're, not, they're, they're, they're just class features. Well, yeah, they're class features, but they're class features, which are feats. So I think they should be swapped out. This game introduces that concept in an official rules type supplement, specifically for uh, the warrior NPC, but it can be easily adapted to anything else. Of course, there are other subtypes in the game, too. Uh, siege weapon, engineer... Mounted infantry, infantry, cavalry, you know, in every every conceivable role, marine, you can think of in, the, in, in a military, it's in here. 
Um, there are some monsters, which are okay. Um, there are some feats. Eh, the feats are a little wishy-washy. There's some spells. The spells are pretty cool. The magic items, they were nice. One thing I really enjoyed about this is that it's a lot of flavor from India. India has a long history of martial excellence, but very few games and very few uh, Western sources really t talk about the, the Indians' tradition of, uh, of fighting. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I picked this game, this book up cheap off of Amazon. I think I spent four or five dollars for it, if that much. So um, I'm definitely suggesting you pick this book up. They've also got a one called Experts. I'll be getting Experts as well. And I think they have one called uh, Test of Skill or something like that about how to use skills in a different way. And I'll probably eventually pick up those, uh, both of those. Um, which is a good book. It's a lot of interesting ideas. And I think that we should let warriors and fighters have lots of fun toys to play with.